In the last video I made uh, this bracket and this flange to mount the turbo on the front of the engine here. And overall I think it's not too bad. I was a bit concerned about the space between the turbo and the front of the engine. Uh, I think that's okay. It's um, probably ideal to be a little bit farther away, but I, I could make this work. One of the things I'm looking at now though is continuing the mock-up. So from the intercooler, I'm going to have this, uh, this is three inch aluminum tubing um, that'll come up. And from here, obviously it doesn't line up exactly. Now I could deal with this to just basically have an S, fabricated an S tube here uh, to line that up. But I'm thinking that might be more trouble than it's worth and it might be easier to just shift the turbo over a little bit. To do that, it basically just means making new brackets, which is not a big deal. And it's the kind of thing that if I'm going to do it, I might as well do it now rather than fussing with it later. So it's not really a whole lot of time to try different spots out. Basically just fabricating new brackets doesn't take a whole lot of time. So I'm going to try another spot. Um, I'm going to use these accessory holes and basically this is just a piece of, piece of flat stock steel. I thought about using stainless for this, but um, for now I'll just use mild steel. This will all get painted anyway. So the plan right now, what I'm going to try to do is uh, mount the flange around here. And with the flange there, what it'll do is it'll line up the uh, compressor will line up with intercooler quite a bit better. So we'll try that. The way I'm going to mount that there is I will just use a piece of this angle iron. Uh, that angle is intentional, that canter. It might be a bit much, but we'll try about there. So the flange will be out here. Now I think I'm going to do a second piece. I could, I'm probably going to connect it into that. There is also another bolt there that I could connect it to if I need to. But to be honest, this seems pretty sturdy already. So it probably doesn't need a whole lot extra. So what I'm going to do is bring this in, bend it, and tie it into that bolt there. So that was at 200 feet per minute. That cut pretty nice and easy. That's using, um, I just put a 18 tooth blade in there. And that's pretty nice, happy with that. I gotta be careful of the camera because I've ruined about four GoPro lenses already just from sparks and it's starting to add up.
this is a new addition to this shop. Uh, just tucked in on the wall here. I might move it around at some point, but this is kind of the only spot for it right now. But anyway, it's a bolt bin with an assortment of bolts, which is pretty handy because I hate scrounging around for random stuff that I need. So hopefully this will help keep things pretty organized. Bolts, washers, nuts. Right now I have mostly grade eight stuff and then starting to accumulate a bit of stainless as well. So I have to work on the stainless supply. I could have got um, the grade five was quite a bit cheaper than grade eight, as you'd expect. And the grade eight is probably overkill for most of what I need. But anyway, for now I'll stick with grade eight and stainless. This is the plan now, so obviously the flange is here. I've got it pretty level, because I do want the turbo to be level once it's mounted. That's pretty solid. This one, I, I actually don't have the bolts uh, tight yet, um, but that'll be fairly solid. And then this piece here, I'm gonna add in just to triangulate it, just for a bit more strength. So that ties into that alternator bolt. We'll try that. So now that that is uh, tacked in place, I'll take it down, uh, finish that weld, and then put it all back together and we'll see what we get. Here's the new mount all bolted up. It is really solid. So, I mean, I could, I could hang off that, I'm sure. It'll take the weight of the turbo, no problem. So it's just a matter of whether the orientation is how I want it. We'll mock it up here. If it's not right, then we'll just keep moving it around. So the compressor obviously needs to be reclocked. With this uh, turbo, that's real easy. They're just basically V-band clamps. So I'll re-clock that. That should be a fairly straight shot down to the intercooler. So that'll come up to there. Uh, I do have to re-clock that a bit just so that the oil feed is straight down. And that's something else I never thought about. I'll have to make sure that that has enough space to get past that bracket. That could be trouble. And then on this side, uh, there's enough space there, I think. The exhaust pipe, so it tapers down from this pretty much right away to a four inch pipe, and the four inch comes through here. I'll have a 90 degree here, and then the exhaust will run back. So I think that'll work fine. So I'm gonna keep going with this layout for now. We'll see how it goes. And uh, hopefully more progress soon. Thanks for watching.